Hello everyone, today we'll go over how to copy files and folders from local drive or network drive to Azure Blob Storage using GS Search Copy 360 Enterprise. First, we'll create a storage account in Azure Portal. And then we go in and click on containers and create a container. So we've got, gone ahead and done that already. And once you've created the container, click on where it says access keys. And you're going to need to supply this information in GS Search Copy 360. So first we're going to need the storage account name, and then we're going to need to either P1 or P2, it doesn't matter which one you choose. You're going to need to show that key and copy and paste. So let's go ahead and copy the storage account name and toggle over to GS Search Copy 360. We're going to create a new job. So right click anywhere and create a new job. We're going to copy, we're going to configure a cloud storage. So click on next. And there, here we're going to give it a name. So other blob storage demo. And we're going to configure it. We're going to select the source where we're going to copy from. You can either type in the UNC path of what the location is if it's an network drive, or you can browse to a local folder and so forth. So in this case, we're just going to go ahead and select the cloud source. I'm going to select copy as root folder. This means it's going to create a folder on the destination called Cloud Source and then place everything under it. If you don't check that box, it will just copy the content of this folder straight to wherever you want to copy to. And then where it says destination type, we're going to click on the drop down, select Azure Blob. And then here we don't have any destination, any accounts configured, so we're going to go ahead and click on Add. Here we're going to give it a name Azure Blob. Now, this is just a label, and then we type in the storage account name. So this is it. We go back to the portal. So we've copied this storage account name. Now we need to copy the key one. So we just right click and copy it, come here and paste, click on test, test successfully, click save. Now we're going to go ahead and click Browse. Now that we've supplied that this is that card for the use, we click on Select Folder. This is automatically going to browse it. And this is where we're going to copy it to. We've already copied Cloud Source, so we're just going to use a different folder as a destination. So we're going to go ahead and click the folder we're going to copy to. And go ahead and select a different folder. Maybe let's call it Random for some files. We're going to copy the folder called some files in the destination. We're going to go ahead and say copy changes only. Mirror basically, copy changes only is going to copy every file to the destination that's not mod that's has been modified or new. Um, it will not sync relations to the destination. Mirror basically copies every file that's new or modified, um, but also at the end it will compare the destination back to the source. And if there are files and destinations that do not exist in the source, you know, we'll remove them from the destination. So I'm going to go ahead and say copy changes only. We're going to use four threads. I'm going to go ahead and click save. Now that we've gotten the job created, we can go ahead and right click on it and click on start job. Right now it says queued. If we click once on where it says queued, it's going to show us uh, more details of what's going on. Detected nine files, started the copying process. Remember, that's a folder called some files. So that's what we're copying over. The job is successful. If it's green, that means it's, it did not encounter any problems. If we jump over to Azure Portal, then we go to Containers, Demo Data. This is the folder that we just copied over. Please let us know if you have any questions, and thank you for watching.